viewers over the world. Good morning. A simple topic today. Stop worrying about your situation. Have faith in God. Jesus said to them, Have faith in God. We will owe whatever you want. Have faith in God. But let us understand first what is really this faith in God to go be the glory. Have faith in God. Have faith in the finished works of our God the Father. God sent his son Christ Jesus not at his own. Jesus came to do all these works not at his own. God the Father who loves us had sent him. I'm reading John 14, verse 10. Do you not believe that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me that I'm in the Father and the Father is in me. Oh, yes, believe me. For the sake of the works themselves. Christ Jesus never came at his own. Christo Yesu Tajanga Kokurue. He came through the love of God the Father. Yaja Okusenzira Iranga Ita Mukwano no kwagala kwa katonda chita. He came by the love of God. And in fact, is a gift to humanity. Take it from me. Jesus Christ is a gift to humanity. It is the complete love of God towards human being. 316 of John. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. It was God's plan. And it is God's plan for you to be saved from all your troubles, from all your hardships, and give him glory. He knows what is going on with your situation. He knew what was going on with Sedrak, Mesak, and Abednego. That is why he sent the one who looked like the Son of God to stand with Sedrach, Mesak, and Abednego in the fire. Have faith in the finished works of God. All the finished works can be seen and his promises are written in the holy book. If you trust him, oh, he's a good loving God. He will never fail you. No matter whatever people say against you or about you, that's not an issue. Have faith in God. Jesus said to them, I'm reading Mark 11, verse 20. In the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, remembering, said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you cast has withered away. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. 
Believe that God can do this. Simple as that. For assuredly, I said to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore, I said to you, whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you have them. If somebody say, have faith in God, God has sent his son Christ Jesus to demonstrate his love towards humanity. And this love is salvation, healing, deliverance, freedom, and you give God glory. It is the will of God that you be delivered from this situation. It is the will of God that you be blessed on whatever you are doing. Because 126 of Genesis then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. 28. Then God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. It is God's will for you to be fruitful. If there is any way that hinder you from being fruitful, that is why God has sent his son Christ Jesus to remove that hindrance. Because it is the will of God for you to work and receive money. If there is any way that hinders you from getting a job, that is why God has sent his son Christ Jesus yes. to remove that hindrance. Hindrance be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever hinders you from accomplishing God's will or from God's will to be accomplished in your life that hindrance be removed in Jesus' holy name. What is your situation today? It is his desire for you to be healed. It is the will of God for you to be blessed. A kiosk to turn into a supermarket, it is the will of God for your life. A supermarket to turn into a mall, it is the will of God upon your life. Supermarket a jobless man for seven years to get a job and work. God gave you the hands. He's expecting you to be working. It is his will for you to get a good job and achieve your desire. Eat, drink, and give God glory. He said, Go and be fruitful. Multiply. Somebody who had one shop. Multiply into ten shops. A small restaurant. Multiply into a hotel. 
Listen, it is the will of God, the loving God, for you to be blessed, for you to bear fruit, for you to multiply. That is the will of God upon your life. So whatever hindrance you see in your life, this is what God did to favor you. He sent his son Christ Jesus to come and save you from this situation. And he said, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it to go be the glory. Stop wondering about your situation. Once the healer is in your house, the sickness is no longer a problem to go be the glory. Receive Jesus. Have faith in the finished works of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. Read your Bible and look at them, those finished works. And have faith in Him. Because He has power to do that. And He is able. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. For 23 of Matthew, where he went, he was doing good. He was doing good. The mighty healer who healed the lepers. When the lepers saw him, they started shouting. Where he went, my Lord was doing good. The finished works of our Lord Jesus Christ are clearly written. To God be the glory. For 23 of Matthew. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Then his fame went throughout all Syria. And they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon possessed, epileptic and paralytic, and healed them. Great martyrs followed him from Galilee and from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond Jordan. He taught them in their synagogues that. God, their creator, still loves them. And he has sent him with the power to deliver them, to save them, to heal them, and to save them from their sins. Whatever they had committed against God, against their fellow human beings, he could forgive them all. And they could receive their healing. I'm reading Matthew 9. Your situation. Whatever is going on in your life. Be it a sin in your life. Jesus has power to forgive your sin. And take away your disease. And take away your problem. To go be the glory. I'm reading Matthew 9. From verse 1. To 8. So he got into the boat. Crossed over and came to his own city. Then behold, they brought to him a paralytic lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith. He said to the paralytic. Son, be of good cheer. Your sins are forgiven you. And at once some of the scribes said within themselves, this man blasphemes. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, arise and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. Then he said to the paralytic, arise, take up your bed, and go to your house. And he arose and departed to his house. 
Now when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, who had given such power to men. God the Father gave such power to his son Christ Jesus. He gave such power to the twelve disciples. He is, he is still giving such power to those who have faith in him. Hey. Viewers over the world. Our loving Father in heaven. Who created the heaven and the earth is still giving his power upon men and women who have faith in him. And he said, and this sign shall follow those who believe. No matter the situation, whether you believe or you don't believe, that's not the issue. God's arrangement is far different from what you believe. He loves his people. He wants to save them, heal them, that they give him glory. He wants them to be happy and glorify his name. Not that you are annoyed with your neighbor, God doesn't love you. Sorry for that. God loves you. He may need only you to be careful. He may need only you to settle your issues. But God loves us all. He is still releasing power. Ten one of Matthew, Matthew he has never so sent any of his disciples without giving him power. <laughs> no, never. It's as if when somebody can say, I'm a rich man and doesn't have money. It cannot work. Ten one of Matthew, Matthew and when he had called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power over any kind of peace to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. To God be the glory. Viewers over the world, we have a loving Father. I have a Father in heaven. Sixteen seventeen of Ma. Marco. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with the new tongues, and they will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Don't be deceived. There are three, four types of sickness. But the same power does it all. Heals all the sickness. There is a spiritual sickness. A physical sickness. There is a financial sickness. Somebody is not sick physically, but is financially sick. His business is sick. So the healer Christ Jesus, 
with the same power he has. He can heal the spiritual sickness. Have faith in him. He is able. He can heal the physical sickness as well as he can heal the sick business. Don't just believe and have faith for the sick body. Have faith for the sick business. That Jesus can heal the sick business. Jesus can heal the sick finances. Somebody may not be sick in the body. But his finances are sick. The finances we are attacked. They need to recover. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Your spirit be healed. Be saved. Be delivered. Your spirit be saved. Be protected. Your body be healed. You are over the world. What is your situation? Is it a spiritual sickness? Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Is it a physical sickness? Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Is it a sick business? Business That is the situation. Your sick business. Business Be here. Be here. Be here. Be here. In the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. Viewers over the world. Is it your sick finances? Begin to recover in Jesus' name. Your finances begin to recover in Jesus' name. I say your finances begin to recover by the same power of the Holy Ghost. Your finances begin to recover. Your business begin to recover. Your body begin to recover. Any part of your body sick be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Begin to recover from this sickness. Begin to recover from this disease. Begin to recover from this disease. Be healed of this disease. Is it poverty? Bravo. That poverty that is the sickness which attacks finances. In a cycle of poverty. In your life. In your business. Be broken in Jesus. The will of God. For you to be blessed. The will of God. Your business to be blessed. Whatever stop. Your business, your business, hinder your business, your business. That cycle of poverty be removed in Jesus' name. Viewers over the world, your finances be healed. Viewers over the world, your business be healed. Begin to recover. Begin to recover. Your business recover. Your finances recover. Your body recover. Your soul, your spirit, begin to recover from disappointment, from agony, from depression. Begin to recover. You are over the world. Begin to recover. Is it allergy? Is it hypertension? Begin to recover. Is it diabetes? Begin to recover. Be healed in Jesus' soul. 
holy name. Be healed in Jesus' holy name. Is it vibrous? Begin to recover. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In Jesus' holy name. Ah, our Father in heaven. To God be the glory. Viewers over the world, don't worry so much with this your situation. The Father in heaven is a good loving God. He sent his son Christ Jesus to do all whatever you may require. May he grant you your request. May your request be granted. Amen. May, oh God, may your request be granted. May your job request be granted. May your promotion request be granted. Viewers over the world, may your job request be granted. May your pregnancy issue be granted. May your conceiving be granted. May your conceiving be granted. Whatever you yearn in the name Jesus. Your request be granted. Let's watch and see our sister Kemuto from Kenya. How devastated her situation was. But Jesus, who was sent from God the Father, saved her situation. He said, now I'm going back to my job. Now I can bathe very well. What is it going on in your life? There is power in the blood of Jesus. Viewers over the world, God loves you. He sent his son Christ Jesus. Today, have faith in God. Have faith in the finished works of our Lord Jesus Christ. Read your Bible and see. He did them 2,000 years ago. He will do it again. To go be the glory. I want to say, we, me and you, if we agree today on whatever issue as regards to the will of God, it is the will of God for you to be healed, to be delivered, to be blessed. That is only what we can agree. We cannot agree on you killing your enemy. Forgive them. For they do not know what they are doing. That is not the will of God. Today we want to agree. 
on victory upon your battle that you win them. He sets a table before you in the presence of your enemies. If you kill them all, you're sending far away the table. Psalms 23 verse 5. He sets a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My cup Overflow. When will your cup overflow? It will never do that in the absence of your enemies. Forgive them. Today we, let us agree. You who was jobless, agree with Pastor Kakande in the name of Jesus. What is that agree upon in the name of Jesus? The finished works of our Lord Jesus Christ. He did 2,000 years ago that he would do them again. I'm reading Matthew. 18, 19, 19, and 20. Viewers over the world, the loving Father still loves you the way he loves his 12 disciples. Again, I said to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, who are the two of you? You and the prophet Kakande. It will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I'm there in the midst of them. Whether you are over there in South Africa, the moment we agree, me and you, in our midst, between me and you, a thousand miles, Jesus Christ is between us. Whether you are there in Kenya, in Mombasa, between me and you, whether there is a thousand miles, all those thousand miles, Jesus is between us. Oh. He is going to do it. He is going to do it again. That miracle. He did 2,000 years ago. He will do it again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you are arguing with me. Say I agree with you Prophet Samuel Kakandi. I agree with you Prophet Samuel Kakandi. On this issue of my job. On this issue of my job. That from today. That from today, within these three months, within these three months, I will get the good and the best job I desired for years. I will get, get the good and the best, best job, job I desired for years. I agree with you, Prophet Samuel Kakande. I agree with you, Prophet Samuel Kakande. Upon my finances, upon my finances, that the good loving God, that the good loving God sent His Son Christ Jesus, sent His Son Christ Jesus to release my finances, to release my finances, my finances be released, my finances be released, my finances be released, my finances be released, my business be released, my business be released, my business be released, my business be released. I agree with you. I agree with you, Professor Makakande. Upon my business. Upon my business. My business. My business. Be released. Be released. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My career. My career. Be released. Be released. My position. My position. Be promoted. Be promoted. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, whatever we shall agree, he is in our midst. How many kilometers, miles between me and you? Viewers over the world in USA, in Canada, Australia. Between me and you, that gap, Jesus Christ is in our midst. So he is ready to answer. Are you in Rwanda? Oli mu Rwanda eyo. Eh, hey, agree with the professor Mukakande. Jesus Christ is in between you. Yesu Kristo yali wakati Are you in Zambia? Oli mu Zambia eyo. Bantu boku Zambia. People from Zambia. Mumfe. 
Listen. Agri Professor Makakan. Mukirizganya ne na bisa muri kakande. May your request be granted. Okusaba kwa mukirizibwe. May your request be granted. Cho saba chikirizibwe. May your sickness be healed. Obradde bo buonyesebwe. The spiritual sickness. Obradde bo moyo. Receive healing. Funo kuonyesebwa. The financial sickness. Obradde bo nsimbi. Your finances be healed. Ebi ya funa webi wonyesebwe. Begin to recover. Tandi kwa kudde nguru. Your business be healed. Business here when you say Your career be healed. Begin to recover. Customers begin to come. Receive a breakthrough. As I believe with you. I have faith with you. Hey, in between me and you. Jesus is plenty. Yes, May He grant you your request. Viewers over the world. It is Christ Jesus you should seek. In between you and me. The only man who can break the gap. Who can supply all your needs. For 19 of Philippians. Is Christ Jesus. Would you like to receive him as your personal Savior and Lord? Would you like to receive him as your business partner? In the finances, in your career, take him more of me, Jesus. Give me more of you. He said, abide in me and I in you. For without me, you can do nothing. 15.4 of John. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. 7. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. By this my father is glorified that you bear much fruit. So you'll be my disciples. To God be the glory. Repeat these words. Say, Oh Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord Jesus Christ. I receive you. I receive you. Into my life. Into my life. Enter my life. Enter my life. Save my soul. Save my soul. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Abide in me. Abide in me. And I in you. And I in you. For without you. For without you. I can do nothing. I can do nothing. But now that you are living in me. But now that you are living in me. I can face tomorrow. I can face tomorrow. But now Jesus Christ. But now Jesus Christ. You are living in me. You are living in me. I'm born again. I'm born again. I have recovered. I have recovered. I can face tomorrow. I can face tomorrow. I can fly over the mountain. I can fly over the mountain. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For accepting. For accepting. Entering my life. Entering my life. Jesus. Jesus. Come into my business. Come into my business. Be my business partner. Be my business partner. Come into my finances. Come into my finances. Be my partner. Be my partner. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you. I thank you. You are now my master. You are now my master. I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm born again. My life will never be the same my again. My life will never be the same again. For the Bible says. For the Bible says. If any man steps into Christ Jesus. If any man steps into Christ he Jesus. He is a new creation. He is a new creation. All things have gone away. All things have gone away. Our Father. Father. Our Father. Father. Uh -huh. I know that we don't care.